Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10Ps to have a look for the Alphabet 10Ps. I'll show you the progress we have made so far. 2018, we are one coin from finishing it. We need the letter G and the G alone. 2018 G is the target for this hunt. Wouldn't that just be absolutely amazing? But along the way, if we find ourselves in 2019s, we'll be doing good because all we have are the letters C, E, G, H, uh, J, K, L, M, O, R, U, and V. So plenty still to find for 2019. But without further ado, let's get into this bag. Oh, wow, early doors or what? L for Loch Ness. That's the one we find most often on my channel, 2018. Woohoo! A side of good things to come, hopefully. So let's jump into some questions then. First question comes from the London Tube Driver, who says, Hi Christopher, what a generous giveaway. Stunning coins. They really show off the difference between proof and bunk. Uh, I collected the Royal Mint bunk packs for the last three years, but I'm making it my New Year's resolution to buy the proof of each issue as they are just fabulous. Is there any reason why we can only buy silver proof coins from the Royal Mint and not base metal proofs? Um, ooh, um, in terms of the difference between a proof coin and a bunk coin, I guess, is the question. So proof coins are, have a frosted finish, I think, is the difference between a proof coin and a brilliantly un uncirculated coin. So I think that's the reason, and I think it's just because they don't make them, not that I'm aware of, because Whenever coins are released, they've got the the bunk, you've got the silver proof, PA fort sometimes, gold proof. So I think I guess it's just a case of the fact that they don't make them, I guess. Uh, but good question. Um, Barry the Change Checker says, Hi Christopher, great video, an amazing giveaway you've got going. My question is, when the Queen retires or passes on, do you think the Royal Mint would release a final um, Elizabeth II set of coins as a final commemor commemoration? Also, what do you think they would do when the new monarch, what designs do you like to see on the final Queen Elizabeth commemorative coin set? Mine would be facing portrait of the Queen and a theory it would be a double headed coin. Ah, love the content. Good luck in the A to Z's. Just ordered full set as I got too sweaty about missing out. <laughs> they are tough to find. They are, the 10Ps are so elusive and it's so um, difficult to find them, not just in your change, but in the bank runs. I've hunted through so much, uh, so many 10Ps over the course of my channel. We're over 100 videos. I was knocking on 110 videos or something crazy like that. I can't recall off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, eventually we'll find the, we'll find the whole set. That it will happen. Um, in terms of the last set of the monarchs, what I have said time after time is I think it would be really cool to have a set so the obverse is the queen and the reverse is all the monarchs that have preceded her uh, on coins. I think that would be an absolutely astoundingly beautiful set. Um, other than that, the Netherlands had a great um, commemoration of the ascension of, I can't remember, King, I can't remember his name now, but you had Queen Beatrice and the succeeding monarch uh, side by side on the same coin. Um, but I think that would be, I think that would be cool. I really like the idea of having all the different monarchs that featured on UK coins all the way back to way back when, all the way up to, um, the, what about the different portraits, I guess? I guess you'd have to mix that up as well. Uh, but I think that would make a really, really cool set. Um, da, 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 da. Andrew White's leg says, there once was a man named Christopher who, th who, who looked through a bag of coins for a keeper. He put them in a book for everyone to look and said, holy to you, this hobby isn't getting any cheaper. <laughs> Very good, I really like that. Um, Janet Smith says, what sort of night out would you look forward to, Christopher? Uh, well, I think we're all um, looking forward to being able to get her, go and have a night out um, um, of um, with when a semblance of normality returns. So, I mean, I'm quite, I'm quite relaxed, chilled out. Uh, going to a pub is quite fun. Um, it's it's the, it's always a challenge of how do you get there? How do you get back? If you want to drink, how do you get back? Is it taxis or buses or blah 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 blah? blah. Um, so walking distance would be perfect. In a pub, I don't I hate nightclubs with a passion. I've been to nightclubs a couple of times. They are hot. They're sweaty. It stinks. Um, they they usually take hours to get a drink, um, and they're extortionately expensive. And it's always music I don't that I detest. That's too loud. You can't have a conversation. You end up shouting in the ear of someone. Uh, to just have a conversation, so that's not to say, yeah. A nice, uh, go to cinema. Oh, 
I long to go back to the cinema. <laughs> be able to do that would be great. But uh, yeah, um, my best night out is a night in, <laughs> watching something on TV, I guess. Um, ben Keenan says, how many Mary Rose two pound coins do you have? I've got a fair few, not um, an absolute metric ton of them, um, but offhand I couldn't tell you how many I've got. In fact, if you head over to New Mister, um, it's a, a, a great uh, trove of knowledge, but also you can log your whole co collection on not just UK coins, but worldwide coins as well. Um, and my new mister profile is uh, accessible to view so you can go in type in christopher clex in the search bar you'll find me you can have a look at the coins i've got logged on there so there, there we go <laughs> uh ged gray says oh wrong button what was your first collectible coin <sighs> I, I, so i've collected coins on and off since i was a kid i always thought it's wwf but if that was released in 2011 the age i was in 2011 I was too old for that to be in the first coin, so I don't remember what it was. Um, a coin that really, really restoked my enjoyment of coin collecting um, was the Isaac Newton 50p. Uh, it's such a beautiful coin; it's still my favourite 50p. But uh, yeah, so um, that, that, in my mind, that's a special coin. I can't recall what my first coin was though. No idea. Um, da, 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 da. Callum Jameson says, what's your favorite World War aircraft? Well, it's gonna be the Spitfire, 100%. It's, um, it's, um, and that's not just the coins that were in the RAF set, this is um, um, aircraft in general. I think there's no more iconic uh, plane than the Spitfire, the um, encapsulates that Battle of Britain spirit and uh, the uh, the plucky few beating beating out the uh, the masses. Um, it's such a British thing, so so so, so, so proud of. So yeah, it's got to be the Spitfire. Uh, da, 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 da. George Smith says some great designs here, but I do feel there are too many commemorative coins issued nowadays. What do you all think? Personally, I don't mind. Uh, the more commemorative coins there are, the more there are to add to my collection, the more exciting it is um, to, for, the, for the release of them. But sadly, we're getting less and less going into circulation, but that's not the Royal Mint's fault, unfortunately. Um, it is down to demand. Uh, there is just no demand from cash centers, from banks, uh, for more uh, coins that are currently circulated. We're getting a few, uh, but uh, the, we've, I'm sure you all read the news. I've been forwarded the article about um, 800,000 times. <laughs> Anytime there's coin news, you guarantee it. Um, I'm the first to know because, well, I'm second to know because everyone tends to be the links and stuff. But uh, yeah, in the next decade, they don't anticipate making any 2p coins, which doesn't phase me, and no £2 coins for circulation, which is gutting. But um, they will still make commemorative ones. I think, in my mind, yes, it'd be great to have more coins in circulation to find, uh, because that's what I do. I love hunting coins, and many of you love hunting through your coins. But I think it's more important that we celebrate these great things of British achievements, of British people, of uh, moments in history where uh, Britain has led the way or whatever it happens to be. So I think it's more important that we do continue to commemorate these, even if they don't go into circulation. Um, and also you've got things like the like the children's sort of characters, the Beatrix Potters, the Paddington Bears, the um, Winnie the Poohs that are coming out that interest younger people in coin collecting. And that is great for the hobby because it brings more people into it. Um, so um, yeah, I like I like the more commemorative designs. I don't get too upset about them not circulating, um, although I wish they would. But um, yeah, there we go. That is my two cents on that. Uh, Orlando9870 says, hey, how do I know if my old round pound coin is rare? So with the old round pound coins, there are a couple of NIFCs, uh, not intended for circulation dates. Um, they're, they are rare on whatever denomination. Um, that I can recall uh, the cities, the Edinburgh, Cardiff, Belfast, yeah, Belfast, not Dublin, Belfast and London. Um, I can't remember, I know Edinburgh is the rarest, I can't recall what order they go in, but at least two of those are the scarcer ones. The Edinburgh is the rarest round, old round pound, to the best of my knowledge, that were circulated. But also the um, the flowers um, were pretty uh, pretty low mintage, to be fair as well. So the, uh, it's been, I only ever got to do one round pound coin hunt. Um, this was just after they were being withdrawn from circulation. I managed to get a 500 pound bag of them um, and I've not, Ever had a chance to hunt through them ever again so that was my one and only chance and i got most of them to be fair so i was pretty chuffed with that uh clive horton says with all the coins you keep uh, plus other collectors 
plus all the other collectors won't the mint have to produce more coins that's the hope we're all doing our due diligence as coin collectors we, we are um we are keeping our two pound coins <laughs> because eventually it will lead to more two pound coins being made for circulation in my mind um similar to to, to my understanding with stamps uh, the more commemoratives that are released so so basically if you release a commemorative two pound coin uh, that is a so just effectively like the government writing a blank check that will never be cashed because we collect it we keep it at our collection um so it's good for an economy for these collectors things in fact uh, as i was saying with stamps a lot of these a lot of uh, poorer nations around the world or developing nations around the world would issue sheets and sheets of different stamps because they knew um they would sell them for more that it would cost to technically be used but they would never be used either so it was always money coming into their pockets and it's the same with commemorative coins um, you think about all the coins I've got in my collection um, um, I, 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 could, I say that and not knowing offhand what it is but uh, if it's a thousand pounds worth of face value coins that is a thousand pounds that's never going to be used um, to purchase things so that is a blank check that's never going to be cashed by me um, unless I kick the buckets and uh, someone decides to spend all my coins so <laughs> yeah I think um, it's it is good for it's good for it's good for the economy I think I think is my understanding I don't know <laughs> I'm not an economist um, Carrot Collect says can you pronounce magnanimity there we go I can do it now uh, I will pop a nice letter in the post to you uh, may add extra added surprise inside for one of arguably top three coin tubes around. Thank you very much. I'm in the top three. Perfect. Uh, but yes, magnanimity. It's taken me all this time to keep in, keep on saying it over and over and over again. I can just about get it if I think about it now. Um, da, 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 da. I've answered that question. I won't answer that one again. Ian Henderson says, really like your coin hunts. Keep up the great content. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Um, Joe Coop says, Hi Christopher, I've started collecting coins and if I get one of these prizes I'd be very happy, thank you. Well, uh, I do giveaways on a fairly regular basis so stay tuned if you didn't win one of my other giveaways, you may have a chance to win. Uh, Gordon Smith said, If you had unlimited money, what country would you live in and why? I quite like the UK. We've got a great climate, it's 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 warm sometimes, it's cold a lot of the other times. Although we say it rains a lot, it doesn't rain an awful lot. Um, we've got amazing coins, but if I had to go outside of the UK, I would probably pick Canada, uh, but I want to be close enough to the US that I can go get US coins as well, because I think that'd be cool. Or somewhere close to a border with Europe. Um, that's why if Scotland ever left the Union and joined the EU, uh, I would, I'd love to live right up north so that I can hunt my UK coins in the UK and I can hop the border and hunt through Euros as well. Wouldn't that be cool? It would be great just to be able to I know, go, go on the ferry to, uh, to France every couple of once a month and just bring back loads of euros to then hunt through um i think that'd be really fun but uh, there we go um paul power says any hobbies that isn't coin collecting um so yeah i mean i work full time i do the youtube channel um a lot of my other my free time dissipates into the ether um i'm working more to give myself weekends off so i don't uh, for the last couple or well, the last couple of weeks i've had saturdays off i haven't done any youtubing sort of stuff or uh, work other than I work every other Saturday uh, for the last few Saturdays and uh, we went to my second weekend this weekend will be my second weekend of purposely not doing anything YouTube related Saturday or Sunday uh, and I'm feeling much more refreshed I'm feeling much more like me um, <laughs> more energized uh, that has meant that I've had to cut the live streams and whether I come back to them at some point in some different fashion who knows uh, but stay tuned for that because I love doing them it was just um, making the smallest change that have the biggest impacts on my life and you guys have been all very supportive and lovely about it um, and I'm very very grateful uh, that you uh, appreciate that um, and I appreciate you for that and we can all appreciate the appreciation of appreciating things I guess <laughs> I'm not very good at being uh, all hokey like this so that's my best attempt but thank you uh, but oh yeah, oh, what was the question was, do I have any other hobbies? I mean, I've got a stamp collection. I haven't done a lot with it in a long time. Um, but I love watching movies. Um, 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 I like getting out and about and doing things. Um, but I thought, well, Star Wars, Star Wars, anything Star Wars. If it's Star Wars related, I'm interested. You've got my attention. <laughs> Um, Matthew says, Hi Christopher, your videos are great and I always look forward to watching them in the evenings. My question is, where do you buy socks from? <laughs> Personally, I think you, ca you can't beat a pair of M&S at best. 
Uh, keep up the great work. I'm sure you'll smash 50k subscriber ceiling in no time. Thank you very much. We're close to 45,000 now, which is uh, absolutely mind bending. Um, where do I buy my socks from? The truth is, I don't buy money in my socks. They, these are Christmas presents, stocking fillers, and um, it's true that they say as you get older, you appreciate those uh, those rubbish presents that you hated as a child. Um, there's nothing better than getting pants and socks for Christmas. Um, I know, but if I had to buy socks, I know Primark, you could probably get eight million for 50p from Primark. So uh, socks aren't my most the most important thing that I would wear. So as long as they are semi-matching um, and you can get away with it, uh, I'm happy to wear that pair of socks. Um, Anne Atwood said, I have been subscribed for a while and you really started my coin collecting habit again. Finally made it to Royal Mint last weekend after watching your videos. Amazing. I'm so glad that uh, you decided to go down to Royal Mint. I'm sure you had an absolutely amazing time. Um, it's not currently open because of restrictions at the moment, but hopefully it'll start opening up again sometime soon. And they were, um, the, this, I can't praise the staff at the Royal Mint more than um, but the, the, the way they they conduct themselves after reopening with social distancing thing is a, a credit to them. They were they were fantastic hosts. Um, in fact, the, the tour that we did on the Saturday is probably my most favourite tour that we've ever done because it built from going on so many tours. This guide knew that we'd been on so many tours and really flipped the whole tour on its head and gave us um, a very different kind of tour. So I was. Um, yeah, so it's probably one of the best tours that I've ever been there. Uh, but that's what's so great about it. If, if it's the first time you're going, even if you're not interested in coins, especially if you're looking interested in coins, you are going to love that that Roman tour. It's so much information. It's amazing. And if you go subsequent times, like I have, I think I'm on trip 11. I think the next one will be 12 or 13. I forget now. Um, you will still learn something new. There, I've never been to the Royal Mint tour or, or the Royal Mint experience and not learned something new or taken a bit of nugget of information that I haven't, that, 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 there's brand new information there. So uh, they are very, very good and I highly recommend them. And if you haven't been, definitely worth going. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Joker283 says, Hello Christopher, I'm just wondering here, what's your favorite two pound coin? Uh, Frankenstein, it's a beautiful coin and it's a shame it wasn't circulated. Um, oopsie. Um, MGTOW Ghost says, if you could add another plane of your liking to two pound coin set, which plane would you choose? Um, mm. Lancaster Bomber, the Dam Busters is again a very Brit iconic British thing. I, th I, would, I, would put, I would add the Lancaster Bomber into that set, but I get that they were trying to get different um, time periods with all, the all these different uh, planes in them. We'll go for one more question. Um, Hi, my name is Pip says, I don't have a proper question, but is your ring Star Wars related? This one here, um, if you know, you know, that is all I have ever said on that, um, as you can see, that is that is it. You probably, you can see it in the video anyway, I've worn it for years now. Um, the thing with that is, if you know, you know, and if you know, that's a conversation that we can be having about. So that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, if you know what the, what the ring is, uh, leave, leave a, a suggestive comment down in the comment section. Don't be obvious, don't say exactly what it is, but leave me a comment that means I know, you know and then we can be a secret club. Anyway, that being said, let's get back to the coins. Well, there we go, our finds from today. We got two jerseys, uh, 2014 and 2007, and a Guernsey 1992, we see this one quite often. But star find, we found one. It had to be the letter L. This is the letter we always seem to find on the channel. Not for a fair while though, but it is a beautiful, beautiful coin, so I'm not too upset about finding that. It's 2018, so we don't need it for the book, but there we go. Well, as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.